What up, what up? It's your boy Hellfire back with another beat video. Figured I'd show y'all um, a little sample free joint today. Um, I know for those of y'all that are familiar with my work, um, y'all only used to seeing me, you know, uh, make sample bass joints. That's because uh, mostly, to me, chopping records is just more fun. But uh, other times, it's, it's also fun to make some joints from scratch. So I figured I'll let y'all see how I do that. The thing about sample free beats though is like a lot of times to me they sound like too keyboardy or, or too synthy. And I like my, my joints to sound like it could be like they could have been samples and um that's not always easy to do, but uh but this one I, I I think I pretty much nailed it, so um let's get into it. Alright, so we on machine. Um I'm running the Axiom Pro 61 MIDI controller. Um I basically started off with um this little piano sound from this plugin called Nexus. It's a real dope plug-in, a lot of good sounds. Um, so let me see if I could remember how to play this, because I did this joint a while ago. I basically started off with this little background piece. I'm not a trained musician at all. I, I don't know notes. I just play by ear. So I do it, you know, little piece by piece. And then uh, the next part is. You know, something like that. Let me just play the sequence for you. On the um, on the high part of the piano, I got a little bit of uh, pitch bend in there just to give it a little flavor. I'll let you hear it. It's the pitch bend right here. Just to add a little something extra to it. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so the next sound I used is from this uh plugin called Sample Tank. It's just like a pad or something. It don't really sound like much by itself. This is the uh melody I played. Little pitch bend. That's basically it, so I'm going to show you how it sounds in the track. Alright, so here go all the notes. You can see, here go the pitch bend data, so you can see where the, the pitch bend comes in for that effect. Give it a nice little ghosty feel, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so for the drums, I got a nice little kit loaded up. Actually, it's not really a kit, it's just a bunch of different drum sounds I just threw in there. Got a couple different snares linked together on one pad for a nice little snare layer. Nice little vinyl kick. 
So I'll show y'all the pattern. All right, so here go all my drums uh, in the drum pattern. If you notice, I like to use a lot of li a lot of uh, different velocities on my drum hits. Just give it a more natural effect. You know what I'm saying? Depending on you know what part of the sequence it is. Let me just play it. So um, next up is the bass line. Um, I use the electric guitar instrument from the uh, plugin, the Nexus plugin again. It's not really too crazy. It's just a, about three different notes. But I added a nice little pitch bend to give it a nice little uh, natural effect. Um, so hopefully you can hear it. It's a real low frequency, made for a, like a nice subwoofer or a nice mid-range subwoofer. Something like that. Let me just play it for you in the uh, track. Alright, again, so you can see, um, again, where I did the pitch bends, give it a nice little effect. So the next instrument I use is a nice little violin that I use that I got from a plugin called um, Philharmonic. Uh, it's basically just like a little background filler uh, instrument. Uh, and again, I use the pitch bend on it just to keep it, you know, what I mean, in tune with the rest of the beat, with the rest of the instruments. That's basically it. So I'll just play it in the track for you. Yeah, so if you notice, the violin sound pretty dirty. Uh, I use a, a, a filter on there to, to kind of make it sound, you know, not so clean. And that's how, like, I get these uh, sample-free beats to kind of sound like they could be, like, some old dusty samples. Uh, I'll play it for you again. You can hear the filter. <laughs> You know, a few different techniques you can use, you know what I mean, if you want to still retain that dirty, gritty sound. Alright, so for, for the last and final instrument I used in this beat, um, I used Sample Tank again for a nice little saxophone sound. Uh, I used this part, this for the hook part and the, uh, and the intro part. To me, this 
probably my favorite part of the whole beat. Uh, I played it like this. Alright, so let me let you hear it in the track. Alright, so here go the uh, part with the saxophone. This is the, um, the hook part of the beat. If you listen, you can also hear that I put a nice little, uh, little echo on the saxophone just to give it a little more flavor. Alright, so the last and final piece of the puzzle that I like to use on um, on my sample free beats, I'm going to drop a jewel for y'all. A, a lot of people probably think this is cheating, but I don't really care. It helps me to get the sound I'm looking for. So what I like to do is I take a vinyl crackle sample and I just throw it right on top. Play it at at different times to get try to get that sample effect. And then when it's all together, it sounds like this. That's basically it, you know what I'm saying? That's how I get down on sample free, you know what I'm saying? So, hope y'all enjoyed the video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Check me on the next one. Peace.